You won't get me, Mr. Kidnapper. Oh wait, Char has on acrylics. Maybe you just might have. That's almost too good to be true. All right, so this is probably one of <gasps> TikTok! Solving the Rubik's Cube. I almost considered not sharing this with you guys. You pick it up and you just throw it on the floor. So you can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position. Okay, I need to learn how to do this because my brother is going to be like, what the heck? I think I saw this one. And then you're going to turn the top clockwise. So it looks like this. And you're just going to keep on repeating I don't this. believe this. It's got to be in some kind of order that he put it in or something, right? No, but he switched it. This is a little sketch. <laughs> And just keep going. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. Clearly. He probably just sat there and did this for like 40 minutes or however long he did it. Oh. Pretty simple. Oh my gosh. Do you know how many hours I've probably spent in my life trying to do that? I just want to say this is sketch because I tried this and I was on the Rubik's Cube for like a good two hours. Did it work? No. This is how you make a homemade slushy. Ooh. Ooh, that looks so refreshing right now. That's sealed. It's it sealed. It for two hours. Oh, I don't want to wait two hours. <laughs> I'm sure the drink has- This does work, I, but it might not work with all things. Work. Don't you just tap it and flip it upside down? Just tap it. Boom. <laughs> and you see it slushify. Slushify. That's, that's so that's weird. Cool. Just tap it. Boom, you got slush. I, that was believable. That one makes sense. That's just how the world works. I accidentally left a can of beer in the freezer, so I once had a beer slushy. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know if it's true, but I'll try it. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to get out. Zip ties in 60 seconds. Here we go. So that, we like what you wear when they arrest you? I like survival I stuff. I've seen this. Zip ties are, which mine are pretty tight. Yeah, try to put that aglet right. What's he doing with the shoestrings? Edward's gonna pull itself out. He looks like he's struggling. This is too f***ing hard and will get you caught. See? It's through the other side. <laughs> oh my, my shoelaces together. Oh, and then you do the... Time. Ready? And what you do is... The bicycle method, right? You go back and forth. Oh my god! You just burn through zip ties. Oh my god! That's brilliant! I've never been tied up with zip ties, but just in case. I don't see what situation you would be in where... Your hands are zip tied and you have access to your shoelaces, I guess. So we have more to show you in a second, but those were all some life hacks coming from the social media platform, TikTok. TikTok, yeah. I definitely use TikTok. I was not a big fan of TikTok when it was Musical.ly. And then everyone was like, just download it. And I did, and now I'm like addicted. And I feel like that's everyone's story when it comes to TikTok. Well, we've covered a few different crafts and hacks here at FBE, but recently we have seen a rise of TikTok life hacks. So for this episode, we're gonna be showing you a few as well as having you try some out. Down, I love, I love life hacks. Before we show you some more videos, we actually wanted to see if you could take on one of the hacks that you just saw. So we wanted to see if you can get out of some zip tie handcuffs by only using your shoelaces like you saw in the video. Okay, bet. I don't even remember the steps. Oh, they both go in here. Huh? Holy God. Okay, I think I got this. The hard part is like trying to put it through, I'm assuming. I'm like Indiana Jones. <laughs> you won't get me, Mr. Kidnapper. Oh wait, Char has on acrylics. Maybe you just might have. How am I supposed to do this? See, it's falling out again. No, no, no! <laughs> By the time I'm done with this, the, the freaking kidnapper's gonna come in. Oh, okay, this is serious. This is gonna change someone's life, Char. Get it together. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. I'm gonna look so stupid. <laughs> Hello! Ah, 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 ah. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. That was so easy. Break it. Break it. I got I need I need Goku by my side. Oh. I'm just going to like break it. It's not going to like eh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it! Now what do you do? My shoes are tied together. How do I run away from the bad guy? I have an easier way to get out of zip ties. You want to actually tighten them with your mouth tighter as the tighter they go. And then you want to put your elbows like this, right? And then you're gonna you're gonna like really quickly force your hands like this, and that motion will rip your ha hands apart and break zip ties. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if this doesn't work now. Right? So you got it kind of loose. You wanna like 
tighten it even more with your mouth. Get it as tight as you can go, and then just go. What was that? In five seconds? My ass, 60 seconds, TikTok guy. Is your expo pen dried out? Uh, always. Grab the nearest rope like. Planner, you mean? Put it on nice and tight. Use gravity and. Not gravity. Doesn't hit you. Make sure you have centripetal force. Or centripetal force, gravity, actually. Gravity! <laughs> Look at that. I believe it. Gravity! <laughs> now see, that's another thing. That's so useful. It makes sense because you're spinning and it's it's making the ink, whatever's left in the marker, go to the tip. So that makes sense. That's nice to know. My teachers could really use that one. TikTok is just saving everyone. I'm pretty sure that one's just broken. I didn't know that you could do that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's worth knowing. I never knew you could do that, but I also have not used a water fountain since I was maybe in middle school. All it took was that one time, I think we've all seen it in some capacity or another. It's typically a boy that's coming from PE class and he puts his whole mouth over that little spigot thing for the, I was like, oh no. Char's done with this, so it's nice in theory, but uh, I guess it's nice to know if you still use public water fountains. <laughs> Not this girl, though. Best Starbucks. Order a venti and then three cup size. That is so smart. I like that, that's clever. Hmm. Well, that's... Good to know, I guess. That's cool, but I just like drink the whole thing. Like I wouldn't share with my friends. Be like, get your own. You learn that too when you're young is don't order your cocktails over ice or with water because you t it stays stronger. Sometimes they'll give you a little more liquor in it. I work as a barista. Most of the time when they ask for ice drinks, I fill the entire thing up with ice and then put the drink in because that saved like half the drink. Half the volume is now occupied by ice. Now for this round, we want to see if you can test out that star Starbucks drink hack and let's see if it actually works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, that's, you can do that at Jack in the Box. You can do that at, I think it's McDonald's. All right. It's got real strawberries in it. Two cups. One to go. Woohoo! I can even top these off. Yeah, it works, definitely. And then you still have some still in there. You know, I had never dreamed about getting a big drink and then making smaller drinks for friends. Drinks are on me. That is one cracked screen. Toothpaste? Oh, I think I've heard about this one before. Oh, I've seen this. It didn't work. Gotta get that minty fresh phone screen. <laughs> You're just filling the cracks and crevices with toothpaste. And now people are gonna think that's real. No way. Oh my gosh. That's almost too good to be true. There is no way that putting toothpaste on your super cracked phone magically makes it look like there was never a crack. Honestly, I feel like natural selection should just be a thing again, you know? If you believe that's real, what are you doing here? Hold on, hold the phone. Does this actually work? What? This is like a one size fit all universal remote? I don't believe that. I call BS. If Alexa's not doing it, there's no way that your little at home click a clacker is, is doing it. My friend, he said that he tried that out one time and then he was disappointed when nothing happened. When you want ice cream. No, mm -mm. you're never supposed to heat up silverware. My God. <laughs> I can see kids on TikTok actually doing this. In retrospect, it would work until you're like, oh wait, <laughs> my microwave is gonna explode. <laughs> never put a spoon in the microwave. <laughs> Run it through some hot water. My gosh. So for our final hack, we wanna see if you can try and fix a phone screen by only using some toothpaste and a towel. Okay, I'll try my best. It's really broken. See, I'm scratching it and it's really broken. Okay. 
I am anxious to see if this works. I am going to give a tutorial on how to fix your phone. You just squeeze it. Oh my god, that that pained me. That pained me. In the video, he did a swirl pattern. All right, I'm gonna keep it clean. Do one corner. I'm gonna do this. I'm not feeling the cracks as much in my fingers. Oh my gosh, this is this is helping so much. Ah. It's on my hands now, ah. So he just did this until it was about that co complexion. Is that the right word, that consistency? And then he wipes it off. I am so thankful to those who gave me that life hack because now it's a sticky phone, sticky fingers, and the screen, look, good as new. Oh, uh, well at least it smells minty fresh. Well, it didn't work. Who would have thunk? Okay, close up, it's still broken. It's just too improbable, it just, Toothpaste is gonna fix your busted cell phone screen? Nah. So life hacks have been popular for years and years. Whether they're hacks from the 1800s that were printed on how to do it cards or life hack compilation videos that you can find on YouTube, this kind of content has been shared and loved by many people. So why do you think that this kind of stuff has been prominent for so long? People just want convenience and efficiency. I know I do, so why wouldn't anyone else want to be? Because it makes life easier and they're fun. Even if they don't work, they're just, they're fun. I think people just want to find reasons to make their life easier. And then you got the whole other group of people that just want people to suffer and f up. As you may have noticed, some of the hacks in these videos appear to be fake, but to an unknowing person, they could come across as very real. Yes, I can imagine all of the kids on TikTok microwaving a spoon when they try to eat ice cream. Oh my gosh, what a catastrophe. Do you feel like it could be dangerous to be posting fake hacks that could damage property or seriously injure the person and trying the hack, or is it all in good fun for making a joke? I think that it could be dangerous if the right person is watching it, but I think it's mostly just for fun. Cut and dry, I think it's up to the person trying this at home. It's their job, whether they're gonna be stupid enough to try it or not. I, I don't see it as harmful. I find it kind of funny. I think a lot of people learn from their mistakes. No, 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 the, it, it, like the microwave one, that could have hurt somebody, because they do. I did it when I was young. I just didn't know, and there it just blew out the microwave. They see it's a life hack. They don't know it's fake, unless there was a disclaimer at the beginning. I feel like you should put a little disclaimer, though, like it's a joke. If, it, if you like do that, then it's fine. Granted, it depends on the hack, but I think that uh, for the most part, it's irresponsible to put things out there if they're not, like what are you contributing to? What, do you think it's cute? Do you think it's funny that people's microwaves are blowing up? Like, you know, that seven year olds are looking at their TikTok thinking that they can warm up silverware for their ice cream. Finally, do you think that your generation will use more life hacks from TikTok in the future? Definitely. Definitely, 100%. I use life hacks every day. Oh yeah. The thing about TikTok is that it's it's really fast. Like it just shows you and that's it. And you're like, amazing. And that's the thing, people don't care to research because it's just, it looks so real. And it's like, might as well try it. I think so. I mean, TikTok is huge and there are so many viral life hack videos. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, cause like everybody has TikTok. I do look at life hack videos, but they're just fun and I enjoy going, how stupid am I? But as far as elders going on TikTok, I don't think most of us do. I feel like for me, TikTok is such a t like a, a space for me to just waste time. So I don't want to waste more time in doing life hacks. I think that my generation is uh, kind of like leading the hacks right now. Because the Gen Zers don't care. They're out there, you know, watching Euphoria and doing their thing. Like, they don't care. And then the boomers, they are set in their ways. So I feel like the millennials, we are the ones that are really open to experimenting and trying and inventing new things. Yes, because, you know, we old school. Home remedies. That's what we like. We grew up on that. <laughs> I guess you'll have to make a TikTok and start putting some life hacks on it yourself. Right, we could. So they should get about a hundred of us in a room and ask for ideas. We could get a channel going. Elders TikTok, how about that? <laughs> Thanks for watching Generations React. Shout out to Zach Flips. What's your favorite life hack? Let us know in the comments. If you like these TikToks, then make sure to hit the like button. Bye guys. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at FBE where we post out additions, show behind the scenes, and so much more. Bye everyone.